you know, I, I again, I I know that there's Securities and Exchange Commission rulings and publicly traded companies. I was reminded many times by Mr. John Laurinaitis, Jim, you can't yell at the wrestling trainees. We're a publicly traded company. Apparently, you can f the paralegals and then pay them a million or three million dollars to go away, but you cannot yell at the wrestlers at a publicly traded company. <laughs> but that's that's the thing is Laurinaitis is probably toast because now they found out they demoted him last time and and promoted Triple H ten years ago in talent relations because they signed another NDA on another payoff for John Laurinaitis's misconduct, and then like what eight years later, Vince brings him back, puts him in the same position. He does the same goddamn thing. What the f I think we're, we're it's like we're living in the twilight zone. Yeah, isn't that the definition of insanity to keep doing the same thing over and over and expecting a different result? So, but so the the point is Vince owns so much of that and he's integrally uh wrapped up in the WWE and even in the WWE's business uh, uh filings and and statements uh, public filings because they're a publicly traded company an adverse condition listed is if we lost the services of Mr. McMahon, that would be dangerous to the company. So somebody who has been stooging to the board of directors and opened this can of beans, they want to get rid of Vince for whatever reason. We don't know because we don't know who it is. We can't evaluate their motive, but it's not only going to be awful hard to get rid of a mother that owns that much of everything but the WWE fan base, when he goes out in the arena, that's Mr. McMahon. He's 80 years old. He's still fucking everybody. We love him. They don't want to see him. And then he comes out on TV because he's a smart mother. You know, the first time he came out, people thought, well, maybe he's saying farewell or, you know, what? No, he's reminding people, I brought you this thing that you love. It's all because of me. Here I'll introduce John Cena, the greatest star that can still walk in our company. <laughs> I brought him to you.